Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to pull information from external sources into your existing Clapier app. We do this with the help of the Get Data from REST APIs block that is available in Clapier. Let's see how to use this feature with the help of an example. I will be making the app from the start and I will take a very simple example for this video, which will be getting real-time exchange rates of currencies. The first thing in this app I will do is to give a name to this app, which will be Currency Converter. Next, I will click on Add Section and then I will give a name to this section. On the right-hand panel over here on the section name, I will name it as Exchange Rate. I will click on Save and then I will click on Add Field. Now over here, I will select the Get Data from REST APIs block. With the Get Data from REST APIs, you can pull information from tools that you may already be using, such as SAP, Oracle, ERP systems, etc. into your Clapier app. Or you can get a master data from a company's existing APIs to fetch information of projects, vendors, or maybe you get information on weather updates, geocoding, and much more. As long as you have access to the REST API for the external source you want to pull information from and it returns in a JSON format, you can get it into Clapier. This block can be configured on the right hand panel over here. The first thing I will do is to change the label, which I will name it as conversion from USD, which is US dollars. Next, we have the option of server URL. You can type the link of the website you want to use the API from that you already may use or you can always search on your browser for a website that provides APIs. For this video's example, I found this website and signed up to it to get the API to call the exchange rates into the Clapier app. So over here you can see the request URL. So I can simply copy this link over here and then go back to the app and paste it under the server URL option. This contains the URL as well as the API key. Next, we have method type. When you select on the method type, there are three types that you can choose from that the API works on. For this example, I will select get, but if it is mentioned in the website as post or patch, then you can select it as so. Next, we have the option of query string where the API key will come in. Since we have already pasted the API key over here, you can either leave it over here under the server URL option or you can put it under the query string. The API key will always start with the question mark symbol. So let me just paste it under the query string for now. Next, we have headers. Headers is used to send attributes like content type to the REST API. If the headers are mentioned in the website, again, you can keep it over here. Next, we have select fields from the API response. When I click on add another field, you can see that there are name and optional JSON path query that has appeared over here. Here, you will have to select the fields in which you want to pull information from from the website. For example, let me go back to the website. Now over here, when I click on send to request the response, you can see the exchange rates available over here. Now, if I want the exchange rate for Australian dollars over here, back to our app under the name, you can give in any name. So I will type in rate in AUD. And then for the optional JSON path query, I will type in data dot AUD. So typing in data dot AUD will fetch me the exchange rate for the Australian dollar. Similarly, I can add another field. And if I want to get the exchange rate for say euros, I can type in over here rate in euros. And then again, for the optional JSON path query, I will type in data dot EUR. You will have to ensure that the data is actually available on the website. For example, if I want to search for the currency of AED, which is dirhams, you will see that it is not mentioned in this list. So even if I were to type it into our app over here, it will not fetch me any data. Now I can click on save and you can see the two fields rate in AUD and rate in EUR has populated over here. So in this way, you can configure the get data from REST API block. Now let's see how this looks like. We go to app home where the app is live. Here you can see the fields. You will not be able to make any changes to the fields because it will be automatically populating once you click on this button. Once I click on it, you can see the exchange rates has been taken from this website. So in this way, you can use the get data from REST APIs to actually get real time conversion rates of currencies. You will also be able to view this in the mobile app. The moment you create your app over here, 
the app goes live and is ready to use. All you have to do is download the Clapier app from either Play Store or App Store and you can view your app. So let's see how that looks like. So here you can see my mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded on it. So I'll go ahead and click on the Clapier app. Then I'll click on Currency Converter. So you can see the app is live and ready to use. So I can simply click on the blue button over here and we get our exchange rates. You can also make submissions if your app requires it as so and you can view all your submissions under the submissions tab. If you have any queries in the configuration of the get data from REST API block or any other features in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the option over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.